do Japanese beauty standards affect you? Yes, definitely. So there's one specific appearance that people want to be. That's, that's what I thought, like everyone looks like... In Japan, you have to be skinny, very skinny. And if you are a girl and have muscles... Hey guys, hi there, I'm Takashi from Japan. So today, I'm going to interview foreign women in Japan. That Japanese beauty standard affect you? Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. And you can also run Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And on my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo, share information about Japan. I'm also uploading short version of my interviews. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Uh, thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine? Yeah. How long have you been in Japan? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Oh, the beauty standard in Japan, because mm. you've been here two years and you do modeling, so you know, you know how beauty standards work in Japan, right? Mm. Can you explain Japanese beauty standard, especially like girls? In Japan, you have to be skinny, very skinny. And if you are a girl and have muscles, like means like masculine and you're not feminine anymore, so men are not really interested in dating with you. In model agencies, they tell you, go to the gym, go to run, but don't get muscles. You need to be skinny. And even like, for example, you go for yoga jobs or like sports jobs, mm. so they still choose the people without mu real muscle. How did it affect you after living in Japan two years? First, I tried to make, my hair is like blonde naturally, but I tried to make highlight to look more blonder. Why? Uh, because in Japan, if you're blonde, it's like perfect. Every Japanese girl wants to be blonde, but because of uh, structure of the hair, they cannot. Uh, also, my fashions change. Sometimes I wear like short skirts or like pink colors. But in Ukraine, for example, I will not wear like, short skirts because of dangerous problems. Mm. But in Japan, I, I feel safe to wear like short skirt, even I'm like not teenager. So actually, I don't have any jeans. You don't have it? I don't have in jeans. In Japan? at all because uh, my legs are too long and I cannot wear <laughs> Japanese jeans. And in Japan, people don't tend to have so long hair. They think it, uh -huh. this is long hair, but for Europe, this is not long hair. For Europe, like long hair is like that. Uh -huh. And everyone wants to have longer hair. But in Japan, like maybe because salons are expensive, I don't know why, uh, they tend to have like that or uh -huh. like that. Yeah, when I go to the salons, they're like, oh my God, not me, not me, please, not uh, me. It is too long. It's too long. Uh, last question, do you speak Japanese? I speak Japanese. How did you learn? Can you answer in, in Japanese? I was in Japanese and I was in Japanese. I was in Japanese and I was in Japanese. I was in Japanese and I was in Japanese. How did you learn to speak in Japanese? If you have a goal, you can learn to speak in Japanese. For example, to read a book, to read a book, to read a book, to read a book, to read a book. Do you have a lot of friends? No, I don't have a lot of friends. And I don't have a lot of friends to speak in Japanese. No? じゃあいい機会ですねこのインタビュー。今ドキドキする。オッケー。ありがとうございます。Thank when I think uh, about it, I'm kind of like the opposite of the beauty standard here, especially since I see like a lot of like white people yeah. on advertisements and girls with like super pale skin, straight hair. What do you think about it? It's nothing that's like new to me, because in like America, there's You've still quality, like, yeah. yeah, it's not too bad. Nothing I'm not used to, so. Okay. Is there anything like specifically like you change your behavior, you change your style because of Japanese standards, beauty standards? Um, yes. Style-wise, like during the summer, mm. I know that it's not like cool to like show a lot of skin, right? Uh, Even though like it's like super hot. It was really hot this past summer. And yeah. I see girls like I in know. like layers of clothes and I'm, I don't know how they do it. So I kind of covered up more during summer. Because uh, like I'm from Hawaii, so like it's normal to like show a lot of skin. But here I was just like, maybe I shouldn't. Because I've been like living in like a bunch of other places, I've just kind of only done makeup that looks good on me and that suits me. So when I came here, I didn't really change my style or anything. Yeah, it hasn't affected me too much. I mean, if you want to try a new style, like go ahead. But I don't think it's a good thing to change what you like just to fit in. 
Yeah, they should stay true to themselves. And that, that's why you're doing, right? You yeah. didn't change. That's good, good to know. Okay. Last question. Do you speak Japanese? Hmm. You speak Japanese? Hi. How did you learn? Do I answer in Japanese? <laughs> perfect. Yeah, that would be perfect. あ、子供の時、4年間青森に住んでいましたので、日本語は私の第二言語です。どうして青森に4年間子供の時住んでました私の父は軍隊の人だし、いろいろなところに住んでいました。1年前に日本に来た時と比べて日本語のレベルはあ
So I think we learned faster. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Spain. Yes. How long have you been in Japan? I've been like for four months more or less. Four months. Right now, yeah. Can you explain what beauty standard for women is like in Japan? Uh, so when I came here to Japan and seeing like every girl looks like the same image for everyone, Some... shocked me a little bit. Yeah. So there's one specific like appearance that people want to be, kind of. That's that's what I thought. Like everyone looks like more or less the same with the same, even the same palette of colors. And that really shocked me at first, but I really thought it was really pretty. Does it affect you? And I think I have the, the freedom of being a little bit more out of the line because I am a foreigner. Okay. But at the same time, when I go to interviews for a job or something like that, I feel like I have to fit in. My hair of color must to be like black oh, or really? have to okay. be straight or have to be in a ponytail and really clean. Uh, my makeup cannot be like strong or have to be really, really slight color more or less. I have to fit into a category to find a job in Japan, like a serious job. How do you feel about it? You feel a little bit uncomfortable with doing that? Or like you don't mind or like, you know, because you have your own style, of course. And then, yeah. I'm not uncomfortable with that. I think uh, it's like the way of living here in Japan and you have you must follow the rules and I think like it's a Japanese society really interests me. I am not uncomfort uncomfortable with that. Last question. Uh, do you speak Japanese? Yes, yeah. I speak Japanese to a certain level. Certain level. How did you learn Japanese? えっとね、えっと、元スペインで、ま、6年間ぐらいで勉強してて、そこから去年が学生、留学生ビザを取って、ここに日本語学校参加してて勉強してます。日本に4ヶ月、5ヶ月。4ヶ月。4ヶ月